Lucky here in Shippensburg, Pennsylvania. I'm going to show you the inside of my 1991 AV on fifth wheel. It's a 35 foot RV. This is a Four Seasons RV, which means it's excellent for camping, whether you're in Alaska or Florida or wherever your pipes want to freeze up. Everything's all insulated underneath the bottom. It's got a brand new roof on it, and it has a relatively brand new uh, generator, which only has 11 hours on it. It's a 6,500 watt generator, and it's liquid cooled. So if you wanted, you could hook up your heat to your cooling system on your generator, have liquid cooled heat. This has a fold out uh, bed on it. Is it? This is not original to the RV. The other one started to get a little faded out, and the fiber separated. So I got this updated uh, sofa here. Also got a rocker recliner here. It matches it. It's pretty good condition. It's really nice. There's a TV and a DVD player. Corian countertops has all. Uh, oak interior. There's no photo laminated wood here. Everything's oak and the liners of the uh, there's a couple DVDs in there for DVD player. This is the remote controls. The uh, the cabinets are lined on the bottoms is the easiest one to show you here with cedar on the bottom of the cabinets. This this little trick here they have so your uh, stuff don't fall off the hanger there. They got a little plate that folds down here. You fold that down like that, and that keeps your hangers from coming off the rack while you're traveling down the road. And you want to get anything off, you have to take that up there and take your hanger off. It's pretty nice. Ceiling's nice and clean. There's no water damage to the ceiling. There's a brand new roof on this RV. It was done at Keltner's RV in Shippensburg, Pennsylvania. The carpets are clean. <coughs> Excuse me. Got an all oak kitchen here. Has a uh, drop leaf table. Down on the bottom of the uh, table here, I pull this chair out. There's a little plate there, and if you pull the pin on that plate, it'll fold up, and that table will move over there another six inches closer to the wall if you drop this other leaf down, so it'll make you more space while you're traveling around. Extra space there, you can hold your drop leaf up. I have all the books for the RV. I'm not sure if I can get it open with one hand there. But all the books for the RV are in there. All the blinds are in relatively good shape. Some of them have a couple of small bends on the blinds, but they're not tore up. Everything's Corian countertops here. This tricky little thing I'll show you. If you take this magnet off, you can't open these cabinets up. That way they're not falling out on you while you're driving down the road. You put that little magnet on there, it sets off a little control. You can hear it drop. Then you can pull the drawer right open. If you don't have that, the drawer won't come open. You can put this thing away or you can just let it hang on there like I do most of the time. There's the inside of the oven. The oven almost looks like new on the inside. Not perfect, but pretty nice. Microwave of it. Show you in the refrigerator here. This is your main control panel here. Now, the generator is a 6,500 watt generator. It's liquid cooled and it's pretty much brand new. It's a year old, but it's been in there. So, I know we've used it for 11 hours, so I can't tell you it's brand new. It's got a uh, control panel here. This is your water pump. I'll turn it on and off. I got it winterized, so there's no water in there now. Uh, the water heater control. This is your from your number one to number two LP tank. And on the outside, the LP tanks are brand new and they're both full. This is how you start your generator here. There's your generator running. I don't know if you can hear it on the video, but she's working there for you. It's nice to have a generator because it doesn't matter where you stop, you can turn it on and you got all your power. You can run your coffee pot or your rice cooker or whatever you need. This is your slide out control. You push this one time and that automatically makes the slide out come in. Here's your monitors. This is your fresh water, which is empty. It's winterized. Your uh, gray front tank. This RV has a washer and dryer, so it's got a couple different tanks. 
This is your gray black, your wastewater. That's your LP tanks. I and mean, you can see they're all full there because both the tanks are full. So you get free tanks of propane. I'm not sure if I missed anything. You got a hardwood floor in the kitchen. You got a piece of carpet down there because it makes it nice to have the carpet. All right, now we're going to go back into the bathroom. So there's one step up there into the bathroom. The first door on the right here is the washer and dryer, which is in excellent condition. It's a full washer and dryer, so it doesn't take as long as one of those jobs where it takes two, three hours to do the laundry, and ones that are combinations. You can do a load dry one while you're doing another load. Again, we got Corian countertops, all oak interior. For example, here's another cabinet opening up. You see, you got cedar in the bottom of that cabinet. You got your little gizmo on there for holding your hangers up. Should have took all these hangers out of there, but I guess I didn't get through that. There's your bed. It's a queen size walk around bed. It's all oak interior in the back of there. This bed, let's see if I can lift this up there. Lift that up. You got your storage underneath your bed. big oak armoire over there with shelving put your clothes and linen in. Now this has a bifold door here between the bedroom and the bathroom but here I'm going to show you this on the front. The door that goes between the front and the back has a snap here. It's actually a, a wooden panel door there which I think is really nice because I'm not a big fan of bifold doors especially if you got company in the front trying to live and you're in the back trying to live. It's nice to have that door for privacy. Carpet, everything's in good shape. Got another carpet tack down here. It just makes it nice and don't wear out the carpet so that you don't want the carpet gets worn out and take it out throw it away. Here's a shower. Now this is a humongous shower. And if you want to put two people in there you certainly be able to get them in there. Like I said, this thing's winterized, so a little bit of the winterization fluid still laying on the floor there from when it was winterized. But it's a giant shower. I mean, it's it's every bit of probably four and a half feet from the front to the back. And you certainly, it's, it's probably, I'm, I'm six foot one. I'm going to say it's easily seven feet tall, so you're not kidding. And some, some of these RVs, you stand in there, take a shower, and a man got to stand in there, or a tall woman got to stand in there with her head up in the bubble part, and that's not very comfortable. So it's really nice to have a big tall shower. I could turn all the lights on and everything shade, but they all work. Everything in the RV works. I had this thing at Keltner's RV last fall before we put it away. And uh, put a new motor in the slide out because I had a problem once with the motor. And he just said we'll put a new motor in there, so now you don't have to worry about that problem anymore. Put a new uh, plug on the end of the electrical wiring because every now and then I'd plug in and I'd see if I could have power and it was just a, the plug itself was getting torn up a little bit. It's as nice as a house. Well, that's the best I can show you today. This is Lucky in Shippensburg, Pennsylvania. Thank you.